Isabindi is working with the children who are vulnerable and mostly they need love, they need support. If the children, the child didn't have that love, the child is not feeling okay to communicate with other children and to have a relationship with other children. It feels that is isolated. They want their special time. We have someone who can talk to, to listen to them, to their needs, to, to anything that I'd want to share. We are serving the children who are staying alone like a child-headed household. We are serving children who are, are living with their grannies. We are serving children who are really in need of care. Because in our community, not all the children have parents. So they need someone who can be a friend of them, teaching them how to do good things and to be the role models of the other children. So we have to work, wake up early and dress them and cook for them at their homes. Because you are the only parent who is with the children as a child and youth care worker. You make sure that the children are going to school clean. Then when they come back from school, it's whereby you do with them the homeworks. Then after then, you have to take the children to safe park where they can play and enjoy themselves. When they come here to the safe park, child and youth care workers are there to take care of the young ones whilst they play with others. The older ones, they get a chance to engage with uh, other children. They have a right to play. That's the reason why we have the safe park here as well. They don't just play the whole day, but there are programs that are educational to children as well. After school, we come here and then um, start studying. There are books here which help us to the subjects that we are doing, like accounting, physics, the majors. Child and youth care workers are using ordinary daily events to work therapeutically with children and to make sure that uh, their needs are met. We've got a, a place for sewing, for hairdressing. They also help the little ones, the ECD stage zero to six years. They make sure that they stimulate those minds uh, with activities, with the routines that they do with children. And we also have a, a, a very powerful program. We call it Personal Dawn. It's not easy to express their feelings. Nobody uh, able to speak the, to them, but they use these dolls to talk with them. Using uh, this strength-based approach, we want our children to trust us so that uh, we can be able to support them, to encourage them. Safe parks are important because they know where children are and they are not playing alone because there are the trained child and youth care workers who are also supervising them whilst they are playing there. We will fill in the gaps to people that are, are, are needing somebody to take care of them. I'm just grooming the leaders of tomorrow. If I see them, I see the leaders. We need to have programs that look at the child in the context of the family and the family in the context of the community. So we need to adopt what we call a holistic approach to child protection. So that's why the safe park is such a crucial strategy. In a way, it is really a gateway to, to reach children and families as well. light. <laughs> The girl that worked in here was a shy and an isolated girl who had no visions. But now I'm able to express myself. That's where um, we get to be home.
It's where we, we feel free to do anything. It's like our second homes. Now I have faith myself and I can conquer the world.